Unleashing collocations, mastering adverbs the right way. Hello, language enthusiasts. We're diving deep into the realm of English language learning today, focusing on a specific aspect of advanced vocabulary, collocations. You're about to uncover the secrets of avoiding common collocation mistakes, and we'll zero in on one particular area that often trips learners up, misusing adverbs in collocations. In this video, we'll equip you with strategies to edit and proofread for adverb errors. Adverbs. Those little words that modify verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs, play a significant role in collocations. Those natural combinations of words that native English speakers use instinctively. When used incorrectly, adverbs can throw a wrench into your sentences, making them sound awkward and unnatural. The most common problem stems from using the wrong adverb in a familiar collocation. For example, you might say, I'm strongly agree, instead of, I strongly agree. Noticing these errors requires a keen ear and a solid understanding of common collocations. We suggest exposing yourself to a lot of English, through books, movies, and conversations, to build this intuition. The editing process is your first line of defense against adverb misuse. When you're looking over your writing, pay close attention to the adverbs. Are they correctly paired with the words they modify? A helpful tip is to read your writing aloud. This can help you catch awkward phrases that you might overlook when reading silently. Proofreading is your final chance to catch any lingering adverb errors. Here are a few strategies. 1. Take a break before you start. Fresh eyes can spot errors that you may have missed during editing. 2. Read backwards. Start from the end of your text and read back to the beginning, sentence by sentence. This helps you focus on the words rather than the story. 3. Peer review. Have someone else read your work. They might catch errors that you've missed. Remember, the goal is not to eliminate adverbs, but to use them effectively to enhance your English. And that wraps up our session on avoiding adverb misuse in collocations. We hope these editing and proofreading strategies help you create natural-sounding, error-free English sentences. Keep practicing, and remember that every mistake is a step towards mastery. See you in the next video.